Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to episode 892. And the topic today is going to be about the holidays again, uh, because I had some conversations today that really fueled this for me, which is why I want to talk about it. So basically I'm talking about how, holi- how stressful the holidays are and why it doesn't have to be, and offer some tips as well. So before I jump into all of that, again, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, and then we get started and give you some guidance and next steps, things you can do. My name is Barry Selby, in case you hadn't already seen that in the title somewhere in the broadcast. Um, I am an inspirational speaker, spiritual guide, love and relationships expert, and the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, but for singles and couples, men and women. I'm a big fan of the book, especially now after I wrote it, <laughs> and I hope you get where you want to go. Um, I help women create balance in love, life, and business primarily, um, work with some men too when they want to get support. The reason why I help women is because I'm a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. This has been driving my work now for the last 12 years, and it's also what started these talks almost three years ago called Messages, Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Feminine Heart. And usually I talk about love and relationships, but what I'm talking about today is more about family. And it's going to tie into relationships too because there's some obvious overlaps, but also some things happen for people this time of year which can be really challenging. And I'm going to use Thanksgiving as the main focus, although for people who don't live in the United States, either if in Canada, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving already happened. If you live in other countries, there isn't Thanksgiving. But you can substitute Christmas or something else in your own life. For most people, well... It was 33% of a study I read from 2018, but I think it's more than that, frankly, that when you go home for Thanksgiving to see your family, or you host Thanksgiving for your family, because you may be on the receiving end, um, it isn't all ease and grace, (laughs) to be simplistic about it. In fact, for some people, just for a lot of people, the whole, (laughs) interesting, the English word palaver came up, which doesn't make any sense to Americans, I'm sure, but the whole um, debacle, the whole production <laughs> of the holidays, Thanksgiving is the example, is a lot more than most people deal with every week. In fact, Thanksgiving is such a big event, thank God it's only once a year for some people. So just the physical stress of doing Thanksgiving, whether you're hosting it or attending it, we're going to travel and travel with the kids and pack all your bags and take all the all that schlepping. It's a lot of stuff on your plate. It's a lot of stress. Now add to that <laughs> the conversations at the dining table which might be things like political differences. Oh yeah, that one resonates, doesn't it? Or perhaps there's something where it's to do with the relationship you had last year that doesn't, that's not on the plate this year. Maybe a divorce happened between last year and this year. Or maybe you haven't been with somebody for the last two, three Thanksgivings and your parents or your family looking at you going, why aren't you married? Why aren't you settled down? You should have something by now. What's wrong with this picture? Or even more stressful is when you go back to your family house where you grew up and you start getting flooded with all those memories you have from when you were a kid the ones that are not the pretty memories I'm talking about those memories of maybe abuse or hurt or wounding now I'm speaking about that part too because in my coaching with clients a lot of times the relationship issues I'm resolving for them are not just about the past relationship they're in but it goes back to childhood we've talked about many times before when you go for Thanksgiving those childhood memories are still there and oftentimes, if you haven't done the work to clear them out, they're sitting there waiting for you like gift wrap. Or, or excuse me, like presents in gift wrap. So to say Thanksgiving is stressful, or the holidays can be stressful, may be an understatement. It may almost be like a horror movie, and that isn't fun. So, hey Courtney, thanks for the love, I appreciate that. So what I'm very aware of is that a lot of people are talking about the holidays with a mixed thing of like, oh, the holidays, and oh crap, the holidays. <laughs> you know, both sides of the spectrum. And I've been talking about it a lot for the last few days because I did create my course, and I'll put the link in the comments and check it out at the end, because I'm really clear that a lot of people don't have support for themselves during the holidays, whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, or any of that stuff. And let me just fast forward to New Year's for a moment. I mentioned about going home for Thanksgiving where you don't have a relationship. Maybe you lost the one from last year. New Year's Eve is famous in some um, arenas to be that time where you kiss your lover and you're really happy about bringing the new year. Well, if you're single and you were not single last year, it's going to hurt a little bit, perhaps. Maybe you'll just sit at home and watch the ball drop on the TV rather than actually go out anywhere. We have skills and, um, I'm not say habits, tools that we use to avoid pain. That's an instinctive thing for the humans. 
So when it comes to painful things, a lot of times what we do is suppress them and ignore them. But the, the challenge is when we go to certain things like Thanksgiving gatherings or New Year's parties, memories tend to show up like unwilling guests or unwelcome guests, a better way of saying it. And if you're not willing to do the work, and I'm using the work specifically, to resolve those old memories, they will keep coming up. I'm, I'm speaking from personal experience. I did do a lot of resolution and transformation over the years to stop repeating the same old cycle. It's like having the ghost of Christmas past showing up every single year. That's the challenge of having holiday. I know I'm mixing my metaphors of Christmas and holidays and stuff, but this is the point. If you're not dealing with your own, well, I don't want to call them demons, but your own history, your own memories, they're getting in the way of you enjoy Thanksgiving or Christmas, then it's going to be even harder and more stressful than it could otherwise be. I'm not going to be able to help you um, reduce the size of your bags to go home for Thanksgiving, or the travel might be horrendous with the airlines over Thanksgiving. I can't help you with that, I'm sorry. But I can help you by providing support. And if you want to go deeper with understanding what's in the way of you being more loving with yourself, I can help you with that too. One of the things that I'm, one of the things I'm going to suggest to you, because I did, did say I'm offering, I did send off a solutions, is... One of the things we forget to do when we're in the middle of family dynamics and craziness and all that stuff with, with all that stuff at Thanksgiving is taking time to actually spend time loving ourselves. It sounds so simple to say that. But frankly, it's one of the things we forget to do. Now, if you're in a relationship, hopefully your partner will keep reminding you you're loved. But if you're not with them or if you're in the middle of doing stuff and the other person, your partner's doing something else as well, you can feel stressed just because you forget to love yourself. Now, the thing about this is it's not a hard thing to do. To love yourself, that is. Stress is not stress is easy too sometimes, but loving yourself is easy to do too. I teach my clients to love themselves and I, I work with them a lot in this focus because it's the most potent, powerful, transformational thing you can do for yourself that lets you change your paradigm when you go home for Thanksgiving. One of the biggest one of my one of my biggest secrets I keep, sorta of, kinda. When you love yourself at home with your family, you can also transcend some of those painful memories. And you can also hold place at the dining table where Political discussions don't affect you. Isn't that an ideal world to live in? So, as I mentioned, I've got a, I've created this uh, two-month group course, group program, or group resource support system called Thriving Through the Holidays because it, it is possible, I believe firmly, and I know it is, that you can thrive through the holidays. That's why it's called that. I've also included in that, I'm giving as a gift, if you do sign up for it, my self-love meditation because it's adamant that self-love is one of the keys, one of the cornerstones, one of the best support you can give yourself to get through the holidays. And if you sign up before the end of tonight, because I did offer it for the weekend, I'm also offering, and it's on the, it's on the page you can look at it out and I'll put the link in the comments below, offering a free 30-minute coaching session with me to use any time over the holidays as well. Like a, it could be a resource support thing, like, you know, like, a, like a lifeline, you call a lifeline, you can put me in a calendar to call on like Friday of Thanksgiving or, or, or the Wednesday before to get resource support too. But that gift is only available through the weekend. Self-love is available the whole way through. But I'm creating this as intentionally to help you out. It's an, it's an, it's an accessible... Um, financial investment and the resources in the group are going to be massive. It's going to be weak. I'm offering and I'm planning to put together weekly group calls till we talk to each other, support each other, and you have other people in the group too. So you've got resources for each other. You may find out you're in the same town, you want to get together so you can help each other out. But I'm also making it so that you can resource me. I'm going to be posting things in the group and you can post any questions, reach out for support, and I'll respond in the group. So you have support for that too. So if you're not taking care of yourself over the holidays, why not? If you're not willing to take this on, and while you're going to put up the stress and the pain and suffering of family dynamics at holidays, why would you do that? Being in the group is an easy way to support yourself, and it doesn't take a lot of your time, so you can still be with your family, but it's like you can always step out and go, Psst, I need to talk to my friends, you know, that sort of thing. You can make it easy for yourself. Interesting phone thing, was, yeah. Um, so my invitation to you is to check it out. And I've been talking about it a lot because it starts this Friday, because I'm, I'm running from November 15th to January 15th, so it covers all the holidays from start to finish. So that way when you start January, you'll be a lot happier place. And I'll even drop some clues around January 1st about how to do resolutions better. So that's a little seed of what's coming. There's lots of things I do around the New Year's that'll help you as well, by the way. If you're in the group, you'll get the benefit of that. So check the link out in the comments. And if you want to get it verbally, in case you don't want to wait till I post it in the comments, it's barrysoby.com forward slash thriving. Or one, that's a one word. Or that's, yeah, anyway. So 
The links will be in the comments for that and my self-love meditation if you just want, just want to grab that. And also if you want to reach out for a conversation with me as a complimentary conversation, I'll put it in the comments as well. My invitation to you, my encouragement to you, my recommendation to you is take care of yourself throughout the holidays. I would say don't let them get to you, but um, that's not easy to say, easy to do sometimes because you're going to a family who know all the buttons to push. Oh, there's another piece, by the way. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Unless you've really done the work to um, create new healthy boundaries for yourself and own your own space, your family is going to have ways of getting inside your armor and, and pushing buttons that are going to trigger you. And if you've been home for Thanksgiving more than once, you know what I'm talking about. This is a resource that'll help you with that as well. So all the stuff I'm talking about are worst case scenarios to a degree, what can happen. But for most people I know, it happens for them because Thanksgiving is like that. It's a great chance to go home and share with family have great, and break bread and have a great time. But it's all the peripheral stuff that we tend to um, sublimate and avoid thinking about, which is the challenges, the, the upsets, the, um, how do I say this? The stuff we don't want to talk about. This is a reminder you can get the support you need an easier way than, than other ways. And you can get through the holidays with grace, with ease, and come out happy. What a concept. So that's my little Sunday broadcast to give you something to think about. Um, I appreciate you being with me as always. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, by the way, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page. I do put links oftentimes and suggestions because frankly, these talks are not just to give you things something to think about, it's to give you resources to get as well. So if you haven't seen my broadcast before, join me at 5 p.m. Pacific time every day on my personal page at facebook.com slash Barry Selby. Um, you can watch me live if you join me there. If you want to watch the replays, I have them on my business page on Facebook and also my YouTube channel. On Facebook, my business page is barryselby.author. You can like my page and you watch them there. But you, Facebook has got this nasty habit of not showing all my broadcasts. So I'm grateful I got a backup on, on YouTube. So if you go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby. All my name is, you know, it's all Barry Selby. You can subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist in there called Messages from the Masculine. And one thing for YouTube is easy to search through the titles of all my broadcasts by looking for keywords, whether it's feminine behavior, masculine support, machoism, um, healthy relationships, finding more love, stop being, you know, there's lots of topics there to choose from. So I recommend you watch, check that out as well. And please subscribe to my channel because I can use more subscribers. If you want some help, reach out to me. If you want to just direct help, get some support, direct coaching, you can message me over social media and I can talk to you that way. Um, and for yourself, yes, I'll talk about this more because the program starts this Friday, but I want to make sure that you get the information you need. So if this resonates for you, great, jump in. If you want to get more questions answered, you can ask me that too. Um, the holidays are interesting. I'm grateful in a way because I come from England, I didn't have a family dynamic over here for Thanksgiving. So I get to go to visit my friends who are orphans over Thanksgiving, which is a much easier time. That skips some of this challenge, I know. Um, but it's an interesting time of year for all of us. And I understand how it feels. So with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel. I may talk about the same topic, I'm not sure yet. Depends what's on the plate. But I thank you for watching this one. I'll see you again soon. Please, as always, take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.